Hello and welcome to The Essential Truth. This is uh, our podcast where we are in pursuit of the truth. Uh, We take a look at the world around us and we try to make sense of what's going on, all from a biblical viewpoint. So on tonight's episode... That I can see some similarities developing in (laughs) how antagonistic sometimes our government is getting toward Christianity. Sure, I I see that. Yeah. We've been made to, to feel silent, yeah. you know, and not speak yeah. up. I think so. We got a popular phrase in our nation, separation of church and state. <laughs> yeah. I think we may have got that backwards. Yeah. Uh, the idea of that statement was to keep the state out of the church. Roger, that's right. Not to yeah. keep the church yeah, out of I don't of think the there's any constitutional, that, that phrase is necessarily, in, it's in, no. not in the Constitution no. that way, you no. know, at all. Material, spiritual, whether we're talking about the church and the state or whether we're talking about uh, religion and government. God rules over God all. God rules. You know, God is the ruler over all that thing because he's the creator. And, and by definition, he, you know, is the, the ruler of that. I think there was around 50 million people who claimed to be Christians who didn't vote in the last presidential election. It's yeah. staggering. That's, so, a, uh, that's, a, that's got, a lot of voice. Got some work to do there. I don't think uh, God authorized governments to redefine marriage or the family. Right. Exactly. So these attempts to redefine marriage and redefine gender, that's... And family. And family, and family. Yeah. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, the definition, God created the family, and he said in the beginning, mm-hmm. what did he say? That a man would leave his mother and father, and the two would become one, mm-hmm. and that was a family unit, you know, mm-hmm. male and female. thing does not authorize governments to tell churches what they must believe or who their members are, or as, or as far as that goes, when or how or where, I think that's where they can for, meet. Yeah, for, for today's uh, discussion, too. Yeah. So, you know, the, be forewarned. Uh-huh. Uh, God is going to judge judges, rulers, presidents, mm-hmm. magistrates. Right. Supreme Court justices. Supreme Court so. justice, all people right. in government mm-hmm. uh, as how they do justice in God's sight. Jesus said, give to Caesar what's Caesar's, give to God what's God's. Jesus never said, give to Caesar what's God's. That's right. You know, what Paul has told us, Mm -hmm. what Jesus has explained here, is that there's just one big circle. Mm -hmm. And God's, (laughs) that's God's circle. And there's this little circle within that that's called government. Right. It has its place. It has its place. Well, how should we vote then? Let's just ask the question. <laughs> you, you That's mean, a tough one. Uh, which we, party? Yeah, are we going to yeah, endorse? Which party? Gonna, which candidate? We're yeah. going to endorse a candidate? Yeah. No. If you're going to vote for a candidate, mm-hmm. you're going to vote for a party, mm-hmm. if you're going to vote for a ballot measure, I, I think that it ought to have a clear view of what government mm-hmm. has been authorized to do. That's right. Exactly. And, and, and so that should be in our mind. You know, when I go in there and I say, well, what about this uh uh, this proposition that's on the ballot. Mm-hmm. What about this person that's running? Mm-hmm. I need to think and say, well, oh. do they understand? You Doesn't know, w- what's God's purpose in government? Right. Thanks for watching these clips from our most recent show. If you want to see the full video, just go to our YouTube channel and check it out there. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel while you're there. That way you'll know when we put out more content and more videos like this.